Hi, I'm John from New Hampshire, ex-Republican, taking a break from the party indefinitely, former chapter chair of the College Republicans. Um, I couldn't believe back then that that would be where we are now. I didn't vote for Donald Trump in the primary um, or in the election in 2016. Um, just this, something didn't feel quite right then. And uh, my feelings just became stronger more and more. I remember I was listening to the the convention back in, in summer 2016. I was driving at night across the mountains and it was surreal. I was listening to these speeches and everything was about him. I was bragging about him, what he's going to do, why he's so great. And he, I, I got the sense that was reaffirmed more and more to me over time that the Republican Party wasn't about values or principles anymore. It wasn't about the, these beliefs that could unite um, various groups of people together. It was just about one man. Uh, and and the emotions were were ones of sort of, of really fear more than anything else. And um, and I think for a couple of years, people thought, you know, how bad can it be? How powerful really is, is the president? And in some ways we've seen the constitution do its job to limit the power of the president. In other ways, there's really been a push by this administration to see just how far they can stretch the constitution, even to violate it. It's just shocking to me the extent to which the office of the president has been uh, used to power the president has been used for, for personal gain or in a way that it wasn't supposed to be to circumvent Congress. I think it's really time that we, the people send our elected representatives, the message that we're not going to tolerate this anymore, that, that we're a nation of, of laws, the rules of laws. And we're a nation that has values that bring us together, that don't divide us. I think we've seen that uh, more and more today in the present climate than we've, we've ever seen. It's time for us to, to, um, to look to our better angels. Uh, we pick our leaders to help us out during, through the worst of times, not just when times are good. And we pick our leaders, um, to be humble, to be, to bring people together, not to divide them, not to only talk about themselves. I have concerns about mental fitness of, of our current president right now, uh, much less just what he thinks of himself and, and the decisions he makes for himself. Uh, we need a president that's going to lead and, and be visible, not just hide in a bunker in the White House watching Fox News and, and, and tweeting about his enemies or about anyone that bothers him. Um, so 2020, I'll be supporting Joe Biden because uh, it's not just about a vote that's going to protest who's in the White House. It's a vote that's actually going to kick Donald Trump out of the White House. It's going to get him out. Um, and bring some order and decency and give us some time to heal as a people.